Hello fellow traders, hope you're doing wonderful here in the beginning of 2021. Glad we uh, kicked 2020 to the curb and it looks like uh, 2021 is giving us a left hook. So we just need to keep on plowing ahead and do what we need to do as traders and just take advantage of every opportunity the market supplies us regardless of what's going on in the world, okay? So this is an update to the uh, backtesting spreadsheet that I had created, and I got a number of feedbacks from uh, people who have used it to ask for certain features, and I love that. Please keep submitting feedback to me because this just makes it a better spreadsheet, and I use this every single day to basically warm up. It's kind of like a little warm up before you take a run and or a warm up before you get on the bike, and I use this backtesting strategy. If you haven't seen my backtesting article on tradingview.com, I'll leave a link to that down below in the description. But basically, I want to make sure I can see every single opportunity that possibly could have come across in my trading system. And I am predominantly a futures and forex trader. So every morning, I want to take a look at the opportunities that went by, you know, while I was asleep kind of, you know, bummer to wake up in the morning and see how much money you didn't make, right? <laughs> but what you want to do is warm up those muscles and also get to see uh, what uh, opportunities came around. So that's a whole other conversation, which you should have watched if you did watch in one of my previous videos on the importance of backtesting. All right, so on to new, the new features. Basically, in the main trading spreadsheet where you would track your trades, you normally had the asset and then the date and time you entered the asset, date and time you got out of the asset, or that your trading system would have uh, gotten in and got out. I also recognize date formed, date and time formed. Because if you trade at night, say you trade from you know uh, 8 p.m. to 10 or 11, even midnight, uh, the trade might not execute until you know 2, 3, 4 in the morning. So when we were tracking trades as far as your date and time in, your date and time out, it wasn't accounting for the fact that you could possibly have placed that trade before you went to sleep, okay? So that's gonna reflect in the spreadsheet as to uh, when you uh, got into a trade, at what hour of the day you got into the trade and um, were able to take advantage uh, of them. So that's a, a new um, factor that we're gonna be tracking in our spreadsheet. And you can see I, I didn't track any of that because that was just a late addition to the spreadsheet. And this is accounting for all of the month of December, all right? So for each trade you get into, you have the asset and the date and time in and out and so on. I have also added now eight user variables, all right? So you can track variables like did it go below or above an RSI? Did it go above or below um, the ATR? You know, whatever variables you might want to track. And I actually did this for my own personal use. And it also was, was a, a factor where people wanted more um, ways of tracking their information. So now, at least on the summary page, I didn't create a lot of uh, graphs on that, but it basically just created a little summary area here as far as the yeses and the nos. So for user one, if it was like, did you cross the RSI? User two, did you cross the uh, moving average? Did you, you know, whatever your factors are, you can get a quick yes and no graph uh, right here over there. So I didn't bother, you know, adding it to the dashboard because they're gonna be very subjective. And a lot of times, at least in my personal use, uh, I just wanted to know the raw number. I didn't care about seeing it graphically, okay? The next uh, thing is I actually added a, a little change log to the spreadsheet. So as I add features to the spreadsheet in future editions, and of course, if you buy the spreadsheet uh, from my site, which I'll also throw in the link below, you'll get lifetime updates. So if you've got a suggestion and you think it'd be a great idea, and I think it's a great idea, I'll add it in there, and you'll get that, um, that free update in there. All right, so the next uh, update I included was qualifying failed trades to include any negative R number and not just the negative one, okay? Because when I was tracking my trades, well, when I track my trades, I, I always do at least a three to one risk to reward ratio. So I was only calculating trades at, at a negative one. But what if you did a trade that was break even? Or what if you did a trade that it was turning against you and you got out at a 0.5 R? So now those formulas, calculate or track winning and losing trades, uh, not just by negative one, but by uh, anything under zero. Because what was happening before was I was looking specifically for negative one, and now I'm looking for anything that's actually just below zero. So that'll show up any uh, 
trade that took money out of your account. All right, so thanks Hakeem for uh, giving me a suggestion on that. All right, this was a big one. Added the table to summarize the number of trades per day to see the win rate every day, okay? So this is actually gonna be in the summary page and it's gonna be towards the bottom. And it's the 31 up to 31 days of the month where you can see based on your trading system that you're back testing, how many trades on average per day do you find? All right, so in my system, Sabre, uh, on trading the 15 minute charts, I'm finding an average of 9.6, you know, an average is nine to 10 trades per day that uh, appear giving my trading system as, as little as three, well, that's a Sunday night, a one on a Sunday night, so you don't wanna count those. But Monday and Tuesday, for instance, 16 and 11. And uh, here's a, a Wednesday, 17, here's a Friday, 18. So you can see um, basically what the average uh, effective um, opportunity rate your trading system can provide for you okay and uh, what was the other thing about this uh, yeah so if you traded only say on Monday Wednesday and Friday you can actually black out the dates and see what your net win rate would be because obviously you're not going to catch every single trade all 24 hours of the day uh, every day all right now one of the cool things I thought was pretty clever was it shades it automatically shades out these um, the weekends for you Saturday and Sunday and you can you can take care of that by just saying what month are you doing this spreadsheet and I really designed the spreadsheet to be saved every month so you can say back testing 21-01 uh, back testing 21-02 and just save spreadsheet after spreadsheet with a different month but if you wanted to track say um, it's gonna be April of 2021 you do four 2021 whoop, 2021 right there and it's going to automatically move all of these uh, gray boxes so you can visually see you know hey why didn't I get any trades oh that was Saturday you know hey why come I only found one trade today oh yeah that was Sunday okay so that's just a neat feature uh, that was asked for um, by the, by a member by a, a, a person who had uh, purchased the spreadsheet and again thank you for all your comments and all your improvements to this the next improvement, yeah, added this handy change log file. Um, and the next one, added the ability to calculate account balance based on a fixed dollar amount and not on a percentage, all right? So I am all about the R, you know, and in our trading like a pirate system, I wanna risk one R, 1% 1 of my account to make three to one or three, five, 10, whatever, more than three. So a minimum three to one R. And that's generally my, you know, methodology of trading. But what about those who want to trade a particular dollar amount? So what if you wanted to risk 10 bucks per trade, five bucks per trade, 20 bucks, 200 bucks, a thousand bucks per trade? So I added these columns where if hypothetically you were placing all these trades, what would your account balance look like if you traded by R, a percentage of your account, say a quarter of 1% of your account? Um, so if you say lost one, one, if you lost a trade and you were trading a $100,000 account, you'd lose 250 bucks. Then if you made a 5R, the next trade you'd make 1200 bucks, okay? So the next thing, is that you basically if you do a fixed amount per trade you're not going to see your account um, your R growing every day you know for instance on a hundred thousand dollar account if you lost one R you would have and you're trading a quarter of a percent you would lose 250 bucks but if you have hundred and twenty thousand dollars in that account and you're risking one R you would lose three hundred and six dollars okay because it's one quarter of one percent of whatever is currently in your account but what if you never want to go over 250? Hey man, I'm not comfortable, you know, losing two, four, five, seven hundred bucks. I just need a fixed amount, and I'm never going to go over that. Great. So this is what these two columns do now. So you can track your trade, your potential trading performance based on your trading system's performance, either by R, by percent risk per trade, or by a fixed amount of capital per trade. So if you wanted to risk fifty dollars per trade. You know, what would that look like over time? If you wanted to risk uh, $500 per trade, what would that look like over time? So if you won 3R, uh, you made 1500 bucks. If you won uh, 8R, you made $4,000. If you lost 1R, you lost what, $500. All right, so it's the fixed system versus a percentage system. So that's not a system I endorse because I'm all about you know letting your money compound. But if you want to just grow your account linearly, awesome. Uh, and that was again a great um, request put in by one of our users. The next one 
And this is kind of a nice little bit of trivia, but it also can show you where you know the, the market might have been behaving that month. Adding a pie graph to show the formation, rally base rally, rally base drop, drop base drop, and so on. And so that's also on the bottom part here, trades by formation. So this particular month, you know, Christmas, uh, the month of December 2020, we had the majority of our trades were uh, rally based rallies. So it appears that, you know, most of the opportunities were in a long environment. OK, so that looked pretty good right there. All right. And then the next feature that was added was added. Uh, oh, yeah. Date formed the date and time formed. Um, oh, and one thing that wasn't in there. I don't think I had that in that list. I might not have. Um, um, put it in the list. All right, I'll have to add that here. But very important. This was another thing. Win rate by asset class. Okay, so in version one of the spreadsheet, I had opportunities by asset class. So if you traded the S&P, oh, I got 12 opportunities. Well, how many of those 12 ES opportunities were successful? Uh, here's the Aussie dollar. Um, how many of the Aussie dollar trades out of the 10 of them were successful? All right, so they wanted to know that. And that is down here, win rate by asset class and by product. So here's the S&P, it had a 42% hit rate. The NASDAQ had a 42% hit rate. And all right, the, yeah, the Dow only had 30%. But if you're trading three to one on all your trades, it's still a, a profitable asset. But if you find an asset that's like under 30%, and you're not trading a three to one type of system, you might think to yourself after a month or two, hmm, um, either A, my strategy doesn't support that product very well, or B, um, I, would, I would probably have to uh, ditch trading the, the, the Dow, say on this particular time frame, Because there was a period of time, I used to trade the five minute charts, and I found that they consistently, the energies and the metals would always tick me out by like one or two ticks on my stop. And I was like, wow, why, why is my strategy really performing poorly on energies and metals? Well, it wasn't that my strategy wasn't performing poorly. At the five minute time frame, I needed to give myself a little bit of a wiggle room. And I just added say two to three ticks on every trade uh, based on the size of the level. If it was like a one tick level or a three tick level, I'll add two ticks. If it's like a, if it's a one tick level, I'll add three. If it's two or three ticks, or or, or I'll add two. Um, and if it's more than that, I won't add any. But that was something I was able to figure out based on the win rate on that time frame. So you might even have a, a, a spreadsheet for say uh, uh, 2021 January 15 minute time frame, 2021 January one hour time frame. And you can see the statistics on your win rate and you know how many opportunities come your way. All right. So uh, that was the main upgrades to this spreadsheet. So if you've already purchased the spreadsheet, this upgrade is coming your way in your inbox. Keep an eye out there out for that and you'll see um, all these new features available to you. Uh, and basically if you want to, this is, I'm gonna pre-populate this with all the data from our trading system, Sabre, uh, showing you know the success rate. Um, basically right now for the month of December, we had a 61% hit rate uh, with 124 uh, trades. Um, uh, trade, uh, sorry, 124 trades, winning trades out of 202. So we had a really good um, month, you know, as far as that goes, and uh, and all the statistics here with your wins and losses. And um, so if you want to clear the data, what you want to do is go to the first um, uh, cell here, go all the way to the bottom, and you can go ahead and hold the shift key, and over here up to R hold the shift key and highlight all of those cells and just right click here and say clear contents. You don't wanna delete the rows because it'll screw up the formulas, right? So you just wanna clear the contents and that'll uh, zero everything out for you so you can start scratch, start from scratch and just start adding all your assets here in the futures spreadsheet, all right? So as normal, uh, trade well and uh, trade strong and trade well. Let's let the 2021 be an awesome year for us. And if you have any questions or you would like to be interested in uh, joining our Sabre Trading Group, where we actually put this um, you know, high performance methodology to, um, to the market, 
and obviously seeing the success that our, our system has, uh, we'd love to see you. Okay, so it's gonna you know if you want to do that, um, feel free to uh, click on the link in the description, and we would love to see you join our crew as we teach you how to trade, as I like to call it, trading like a pirate. <laughs> All right, so have a wonderful day, have a wonderful year, and um, we'll see you on the crew of the HMS Opportunity. Take care.